Hello guys, welcome to more edits. Today, I will tell you how I made this intro in Adobe Animate. So watch the video till end. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So this is Adobe Animate. Click here to open a new project. Here you can select the size, but I will create it in the standard size. And this is the frame rate. The normal frame rate for films is 30. For cartoon animation, it's 24 and for lazy people, it's 18. So I will use this one. Now this is the board. You can zoom in zoom out just like after effect and you can move it by holding the space button. This is the timeline. First, we will create a rough sketch to understand where is later is going. I will draw a line here, then select the brush and you can customize its size from here. I'm writing my channel name. You can adjust it as you need. I will center it a bit. Next, we will create another rough layer to show how the letter will move. For example, the eye letter will come in jumping. To keep it for the full duration, come to this layer, press F5 or click on this button. Similarly, extend this layer too. Now, go to this layer, right click, go to the properties and reduce their opacity so we can work more easily. We will reduce the opacity of this layer as well. Now, I will add points on this rough layer, which will help me later. Let's rename this layer. This is rough1 and this is rough2. Next, we will create a new layer for the eye letter. At the starting point, we will create blank keyframe by clicking this button or pressing F6. I don't need it to move the entire duration. It will stop in the middle. Now I will draw eye with the brush and temporary reduce its opacity because I can't see the points behind it. This is better. Now I will copy the eye and go one frame back to the align it with the point. It's snapping a bit. So I'll go to the view the snappings then turn off the snap line that's better now i will keep repeating the process go one frame back paste the eye and adjust it to the point keep going one frame back paste and adjust to move forward or backward in frames you can use this button now look it it appears like this cool but not perfect let's do something when it lands, it will compress slightly like this, which will look better. Along with compressing, it will also extend like this. We need to do this for each frame. Now let's create a ball for the eye. Liffy will design it so that when the eye will up, the ball will also be up and when the eye lands, the ball will bounce on the eye. It all looked like the ball is bouncing on the eye. This looks good now. I will read the rough sketch and draw the S. The S will come like a snake. We will create a new layer for the S and make blank creep him. It will stop after the eye. We, since we are making it a snake like, we can't copy paste. We need to draw each frame manually according to the red line. I am creating this animation in reverse direction. You will understand why later. Now let's create a new layer for the T letter and add blank keyframe. Draw the T and draw the red line in the rough sketch to show how the T will move at some point as well. Copy the T, go back one frame, paste it and adjust it according to the point. Repeat this process, go back one frame, paste and adjust. Now it look like this. Nice. Next, I will make the letter O the same blank keyframe process, but we will move it differently. Watch carefully. First, hold the Alt button to copy this keyframe. Then right click and select the create motion twin. Extend this keyframe and bring the letter to its final position at the end of the timeline. I will also rotate it 90 degrees twice so it will spin into place. There is a small mistake here. Let's fix it. Let's move on to H letter. I want H letter to come while sitting on the O. 
so it is start from the end point of the O copy the edge paste it and place it above the O like this I will copy it here repeat the same process as before go back one trim paste and the just Let's see how it looks. Now we will create the letter E. I want it to fall from above then rise. It will rise at this point and fall at this point. When something is falls from above, it breaks or fractures a bit. So we need to show that too. The arm of this E letter will break slightly for a moment. I am making everything in reverse because it, if I do it directly, there will be problem at the end point. Let's quickly move it upward and it will look like this. I also want to add some dust particles. Now it's time for the D letter. The D letter will lift the E letter. For this, we will do the same process. Look, I am making it from start to end direction now. There is a problem, my blank reframe are finished and the D has not lifted it. No problem, we will move this reframe back and create more blank reframe. Adjust it in the same way. Now let's animate D and E together. To make it easier, I will hide all the other layers. We will move a few reframe forward without any changes and then start. When something jump, it first down to get ready. We will do the same here. Make the D jump and land on that E, lifting it. Animate the E in sync with the D. I will make the lower part of the E like a bend. Now it look like this. Now let's create our last letter M. I will draw a rough sketch for it. It will fly like an Iron Man. I mistakenly started animating it slight forwardly which might cause problem at the end but we will see. I will keep it up in the air for a long time to make it look like it's flying. Now let's bring it down. I see there is no space for Creeframe again. So we will need to shift everything back. It will look like this. So let's go to the after effect. Now I will create composition of 9020 by 1080 and import that project here. I want to pause here for a while after the animation finish. And then go back to how it was before, essentially reversing. So we'll work on something like that. And now I need to add our layer. There are many available on the YouTube. This one looks good. I will download it and import it here. You probably know what to do to remove the grid but right? Use the color range effect and do something editing and also add advanced fill surface effect. Additionally, I will add a drop shadow effect. And it's done. 